So TTL, which stands for time to live, uh, allows you to have items in your DynamoDB uh, expire after a given amount of time. And so when I say expire, I mean they get deleted. Uh, this is great if you want to keep your databases small and manageable, or let's say you're working with temporary uh, but continuous data. Examples could be session data, event logs, or just based on uh, your usage patterns. So the way you're going to enable time to live is in your um, DynamoDB uh, table. You're going to uh, click on TTL, and then you're going to have to enable it, and you need to provide it a um, attribute. So here I'm providing expire Z, which is a string that has to be in a date time format. And this is what's going to be used to um, determine when a record should be deleted. Now, if you've been paying uh, close attention to the DynamoDB section, you know that there is no date time str uh, f um, data structure and everything are strings because DynamoDB just doesn't have a date time uh, data type. So it's important that you use a, um, that you format the string in epoch format, okay? And so if you're not familiar with that, this is just a, I think this is ISO 8061. And uh, what you'd have to do is convert this into epoch, which looks like this, it's a bunch of numbers. So there, uh, you'd have to programmatically do this or you'd have to use an online calculator. Uh, but the advantage of TTL also is that it'll save you money because the smaller your database is, the less likely you'll have partitions and the more money you will save. So there you go.